Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and I am so excited because today I'm going to be sharing my Southern Charm Readathon TBR. I am so excited to be included on the list of co-hosts on this amazing, amazing readathon happening in the month of May. It was created by Amanda at Book Lover Amanda, and the other co-hosts are Taylor from Tales and Treats with Tay, Oshina from Oshina Gotta Read Em All, Lindsay Lemus on Instagram, uh, My Cozy Reading Life, and Sky from Read for the Sky. So I'm very, very excited. Uh, this is going to be a super fun month, super chill, super easy. If you read one book and you fulfilled one of the prompts, congratulations, you were involved in this amazing readathon. The prompts are so stinking fun and I am so excited. I spent some time, got my books together, and I am going to share my personal TBR for the Southern Charm readathon. The first prompt is Bless Your Heart, and this is an emotional or heartwarming book. And for this, I went with The Paper Daughters of Chinatown by Heather B. Moore and Allison Hong Merrill. And this is a children's adaptation version of the book by the same name, written by Heather B. Moore. Um, and it's, and it, yes, haha, <laughs> look right there. Adapted for young readers based on the best-selling novel. So I'm very excited to read this. This is about, it's based on a true story of two friends who unite to help rescue immigrant women and girls in San Francisco's Chinatown in the late 1890s. So I'm sure this is going to be very emotional, even though it's adapted for kids because it is based on true stories and things like that. It's just going to be an emotional time, I'm sure. Next is Sweet Tea. A book with something sweet on the cover or a sweet story. And for that I chose The Divine Proverb of Streusel by Sarah Brunsvold. And I chose this because there are blueberries and crumble on the cover. And if that ain't sweet, I don't know what it is. So I'm super excited to read this. I really enjoyed the extraordinary death of Deaths of Miss Kip when I read it last year. So, I'm excited to read another book by Sarah. Her writing is very good. Next is Hot as Blue Blazes, a story or a book with a hot setting. And for this, I went with A Wedding Mismatch by Kaylee Baldwin. And this is a part of the Diamond Cove Romantic Comedy Series. I don't actually know where these books are set. Um, but in my head, Cove mean it's, means it's by water, which means beach which means normally there's probably some kind of heat at some point. Um, so I went ahead and chose this for this prompt. Next is Heavens to Betsy, and this is a mystery or a thriller. And for this, I went with Night Falls on Predicament Avenue by Jamie Jo Wright. This is her newest release. Um, Jamie is a fabulous mystery thriller suspense author, so of course, I had to pick a book for her, a, one of her books for this prompt. Next is a free space thanks to Southern Hospitality. Um, for this, I know some people choose to read a book for the space or just leave it for the bingo card because she set up a bingo card. Um, for now, I don't have a book picked out for this, but if I have some extra time, I might just read a book that feels you know, I might just, whatever extra books I read, I'll throw it in that space. Next is All the Fixins, a book in multiple genres. Y'all, it is the month, it is the year, it is time for me to read this book and start this series, and that is When the Day Comes by Gabrielle Meyer, Gabriel, sorry, Gabriel. Um, and this is Timeless Book One. This series has been blowing up since it came out. Book three just released and the cover for book four just was announced. Absolutely gorgeous. So I definitely want to try to read this this month um, so I can get on the bandwagon. Next is Chicken and Dumplings, a book you think will be a 
comfort read. And for this, I had to go with a comfort author. Looking at the books that like I had that I was picking from my TBR and books for review, there are many that like could have worked, but this book was just calling to me and finally it means that it is time for me to pick it up and I'm so excited. And my comfort author is Jen Toronto. And this is book two to spark a match in the Matchmakers series. I adored book one um, and I am so excited. It's This book has been out since November of last year and I haven't read it yet. So I'm very, very excited to finally be able to prioritize this. Um, so I will definitely be reading this in May since Jen Toronto is my favorite. Next is Hey Y'all, a book with more than one point of view. And for that, I went with The Forever Packed by Jamie Casey. This is a sweet, clean rom-com. And look at this cover. <laughs> it's so cute. So I'm really excited to read this. This is Jamie's debut, and I know she's had a couple in this series come out already. Rom-com authors, indie rom-com authors are on a different level. They are popping out books left and right. Um, but I am excited to read this, this month. And the last prompt is Howdy Partner, a book featuring friendship or family. And for that, I chose The Blackout Book Club by Amy Lynn Green. And just based on what I kind of read briefly over the back, it does look like the book club becomes really close and good friendship and probably feels a little bit like chosen family. Um, this is set during 1942, um, so I'm sure it's also going to be an emotional read. These books normally are, but oddly enough, they are also a bit of comfort reads for me. I always have not a good time, um, but a good time. <laughs> reading World War II fiction um so yeah most of the books that I picked can actually m kind of move around and fit multiple prompts so if something happens and I don't read all of the books that I picked at least I can put them in multiple bingo cards because my goal my goal my goal my goal is to finish out the bingo card this year because I tried doing it last year and I don't know what happens, but I didn't. But I am very excited to achieve my goal and read these books, first of all, knock them off my TBR shelf, second of all, and then fill out the bingo card. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited. Thank you so much, Amanda, for putting this together, and thank you to my other co-host. I am so excited. Definitely check out all of their channels and their accounts that's what I'm looking for um check them out I know that a couple of them have done some recommendations videos um and others their TBRs are probably starting to pop up so you can go ahead and get some ideas for the bingo card I believe that Amanda has the bingo card in her video or on her Instagram somewhere so I'll try to find that and I'll put that below um if not I'll just tag Amanda and you'll probably be able to find it there. Uh, let me know in the comments below what books you are putting on your May TBR. And are you joining in the Southern Charm Readathon? And if you are, let me know some of your TBR picks. I am going to try to vlog some this month so that you can see me as I'm reading some of these books. And I just am excited for a good time and a good month. So don't forget you to check out my blog at fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com. You can also check out my Instagram at For the Love of Christian Fiction. That's where a lot of my updates are probably going to be. I'm not going to lie. All my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!